everybody. All right, really nice to be out here. It's a fantastic day. Uh, nice breeze out of the north. It's really nice and cool. I expect it's probably gonna get pretty hot here in a little while, but uh, we've got uh, Adam over here, and we got a newcomer over here. His name is Juan, and uh, I'm really excited to have him out here. Uh, I've known Juan for a really long time. I've known Juan just about as long as I've known Adam because I met them at the same time. And uh, so I'm happy to have him out on the water today. And we're gonna go and check out some. Uh, we're gonna go check out some Indian mounds. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can catch some fish. Uh, we're just gonna come out here and just see what happens. We're gonna have a good time. And I'm excited to get into this. All right, guys. Let's see what we can get into. All this water lettuce. This is this is always a real challenge getting through this stuff. He's getting less though. Remember uh, last year went out there with the boys 21st and oh there he goes nice and clear right here. 21st and uh, Oakley and Elm. Uh, that was that was a fun day, but it takes a lot of effort to get through it. But it, in the end, it's worth it. All right, Adam. All right, you got it? All right, <laughs> my guy back here. <laughs> now we got Juan in my old boat and that's a real narrow boat. So it's like, it cuts through that stuff pretty good. This is a catamaran style uh, kayak. Very stable, but it's got a more surface area. So it's harder to push through. All right, but we are where we want to go. We've made it. When I get you guys in there, there's a great big old uh, burial mound back there. There's lots of artifacts. Uh, once again, guys, if you do see an artifact, yeah, we could check it out, but we gotta leave it there where we find it. Right. Hey Juan, I wanna show you something. I want you to see uh, what to look for when you come out to an Indian mound. All right, cool. Now, the first thing is first you'd wanna look for is like these little snail shells, these little whelks and things like that. These little snail shells, you can go ahead, mm -hmm. take a look at that. If you see a bunch of those, there's a good chance that you're uh, stumbling upon an Indian mound. All right. And then the next thing you want to look for is this type of stuff. These are pottery shards, my friend. Oh, wow. That looks like a stri striated piece of pottery shard there. Oh, no way. Yeah. Now, let's okay. see here. Now, my, my friends that I come out here with all the time, uh, they probably have seen these shards like right away. There's one here here now as you see my guy it's like this place is full of artifacts and this is why this place is protected oh yeah that definitely looks like the top edge of a piece of like a pod or a vessel of some type oh, that's a that's that's turtle right or is that a alligator scoop that is turtle this place is so rich and so it's like one of my favorite locations to come and visit it doesn't take long to get here but uh you definitely have to have the mindset of respect and understanding that these places are protected that's a huge piece, man, huge. And with all that rain that we've had, a lot of these shards are probably washing right down from the mound back here. So let's go and check out that uh, burial mound.
This was a massive tree. Look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. What do we got? Deer, hog? Yeah. Look at that. There he is. A deer, sure enough. Nice. There's some vertebrae. He's, mm -hmm. been, he's definitely been eaten on by a bunch of stuff over yeah, the years. Yeah, I think he's been pulling them all to pieces, pulling them apart. Breaking them, looking stuff, looking for the marrow. That's survival food, marrow. Mm-hmm. That's the stuff. Oh, here's the bottom. Look at this. Wait a minute, it's a hog? Whoa. That's a hog. <laughs> That's look not at the a... cutters on it. Yeah. Whoa, he's young. Some... Look at that. Check him out. He got him some that. teeth. That's there we go. Coming over here for. He yeah. says, hang on, I've seen a deer skull, but a hog skull? Yeah. Well, look yeah. at these. Not big cutters, but little ones. Yeah, little ones. Yeah, they've got those little uh, vertebrae over here. That's that's a hog? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, he was just starting to get his... And those cutters will come right out. Yep. They're long, though. you got to really kind of... like you, When you're pulling them out, you got to do it in a circular that's motion. interesting. Oh, I see what you're saying. There's a I'm sure there is. <laughs> oh yeah, these are in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta really prime them out of there. Takes a little bit. There you go. Break it. My man, look at that. I think that one broke. Yeah, it's still good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah. it. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess there's uh There's another method that you can use, I guess, with glues. There, and... There's a tusk. There's a tusk. Sweet. And I'll take this point and since there's three of them, why not? Yeah. Now what are those red things growing? The, those red flowers are trumpet vine. It's a it's a toxic uh, vine. Those are pretty. But it does attract hummingbirds. Pigs. No, I don't think it would eat it. Look at that one. Oh, look, he's got he's all got kinds of his teeth. teeth. Yeah, he's got all of his teeth. Almost all of his nice. teeth. That's neat to see. That's pretty, too. My nature's Bones. already working it over, huh? It's been chewed on and moss is growing on it. Algae. Bones. Wow. Oh, yeah, look at the look at the chew, chew marks on it. All around the eye socket and stuff. Our boy Juan, he, this is his first time in venturing into the wild of yeah, Florida. Yeah, Juan, pick that up there and let me get you a picture with it. Here, I'll bring your camera. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, Hello. my darling. <laughs> 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 Ah, cha cha cha! You gotta do that every time. You... <laughs> okay, okay, wait. We just need a clip. Now do it. Cha cha cha! <laughs> All right. Nice. You have. You'll be YouTube famous. <laughs> yeah. That's all part of the part of the excitement. Me, I'm the kind of guy that likes to go to the path. Of Look at this guy, look at that. Wow. Get on up in there, Adam. Let's see how we get some scales. Oh, wow. This is like the redwoods. Oh, my God, nice one. Look how long this thing is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it is. Man, that tree was ancient. Holy smokes, it still keeps going up. Wow. Wow. To me, like some of it's probably still alive. I think it's still alive. Because uh, yeah, oh, they're all alive right I was gonna there. say, yeah. Green, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're getting green right here. It's flexible, and over over maybe a maybe a quarter of the root system is still buried underground. It lived. So it's an earlier version of that one tree we saw that had all the roots growing over the, you know, yeah, growing back in, and it's it's kind of what happened. No, we I'd have love something. to get an age on what that thing is. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you could estimate, you know, five, six hundred years old at least, 
minimum when it gets to be about that big. And yeah. But you can see some hog track right here. So that's definitely a little pig highway right here with the bones should be telling enough. And you can see like it's got a hole right over there that they come right through. Hey, you what do you got? You found something? Yeah. What you got? I think oh, somebody's it's, been digging. Yeah, there's some pottery shards and stuff. Oh, here's another bone. Look, look that might be the other end of this. Is that a hip? It, no, this is, a, a this is like a knee. Or an arm or something. I think it's animal. Animal. Yeah, because it's not very old. Okay. You see, it still has some, it still has some uh, light color to it. I like this piece, which yeah, is now that, not, one, that one looks ancient. That one is really old. Yeah. yeah, I remember last time that I filmed this spot, there was, somebody had commented on that video that it looked like animal bone to them. So, like for instance, this is animal bone. Hold on a second. It's like a scoop, maybe soft shell turtle or something. You can see the, the texture there. But something's been digging there looking for something to eat. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this back where I found it. Yeah. There we go. You said that one over there is bleeding dark? Yeah, well, I can't remember the name of these mushrooms, but they look like, as they grow, they look like more like flesh, and then they, and this. uh yeah, are they toxic? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I, I've drawn a, I've like drawn a blank, but I'll think of it in a minute. Um, now, now, if we if we mess with that fluid, does it does it harm them in some way? No, it doesn't. See that? Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty dark. That that's got ex, extremely high amount of nutrition in it, that uh, that liquid that forms as they're fruiting before they fruit. Wow. As it gets bigger and bigger, it'll start looking more like skin and it'll look like bleeding, like bleeding flesh. Um, it, uh, it's really strange looking stuff. Yeah, that's cool. Good, good eye. That little, guy, little guy is cool. So delicate. Right, and you're catching that sense of that just barely a breeze through here. And that's what happens when you come out to these places, you find like these cool funguses and all kinds of neat things on the ground out here and stuff that you just won't see sometimes if you stick to the trail. Not to mention that there actually isn't a trail out here. It's like, this is it, this is the trail. It's just free to roam wherever. And we got that giant oak still over there and pig and so. That's the mound right there, boys. There's uh, probably a lot of people in there. I'm not going up there. What did they do? Just uh... well, there's a well. I mean, they bury their dead. Bury it and then find some dirt and put it on top, or well, did they? I mean, there's probably a lot of things that they did to prepare for it. They and most often they buried them in a sitting position, and um, uh, so so some of the old stories that I read about you know the early um, people that would come out here and dig these up. They would often dig them up and, and the first thing that they come across is like their skull and their shoulders and things like that. Um, there was a story about a gentleman named Charles H. Coe that used to come out to these places out there on the Indian River. And he used to dig those places up and steal the skulls and things like that out of there. Is that the boatman from that story? Yes, sir. All right, so I found the location of where I spotted that arrowhead a while back. And I'm kind of looking around. I brought Juan back here. I wanted to show him some cool artifacts and stuff, and certainly we found plenty of them. But uh, I'm kind of looking around. I can't quite remember exactly where I put it. Um, I'm thinking up next to these palm trees or something, because uh, it surprised me then, and it probably surprised me now. But uh, let's see, I'm gonna look around here. Oh, I think that's it here. Check this out. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it. Y'all remember that from last time. Check that out, Juan. Look at that. that beautiful, beautiful area. Oh, wow. Wow. And What's that made of? Uh, Probably like a local chert or maybe even coral. I'm not even sure. Wow. That's that. amazing. Isn't that beautiful? That is so cool. That, is, that was such a lucky find. And when you watch the and video. And it's still out here. Yeah, stuff. look at the perfect like symmetry in that. Like it's just, it's got these little you, just finest little serrations in it, like so tiny I can barely see them without my glasses. 
hold it up to the camera? Yeah, get the hat. So here, I'll get some light yeah, in it. Yeah, there you go. There, can you see it? Yeah. yeah. And then, look at this side. It's really colorful, man. Beautiful. Yeah. And I remember being shocked and, and just amazed here when go. I first found it. So. That's really beautiful. Thanks for sharing that with me. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. It's always really nice to be able to, to uh, come back anytime and find these arrowheads like that. I'm just going to put it back where I found it. Put it back there and just leave it. And... Guys, out. Hopefully, it'll be here when I come back and visit again. All right? That's cool. I'm really excited to be able to see it again. And that's the beauty of uh, protecting these sites because uh, I don't need to take any of these objects home. You know, I don't need to. I don't need to um, take any of these home. I can always come back to this location. It's fantastically beautiful, and I can always go back and look at it. It's like a trip back in time. Now, is this something you expected, one? No, no, nothing like this. Nothing, nothing like this. This is this is without a doubt an amazing experience. What so you, happy man? we came. Oh yeah, phenomenal. Uh, pottery shards. You found that awesome arrowhead. Um, old growth oaks. It's amazing. Yeah, you can't. Beautiful. Yeah, you can't. Uh, you can't replace this for anything. This is where the value's at. This is an unfathomable amount of value. This is much more valuable than, than a uh, car wash or a Wawa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not that you don't want to stop there on the way out or the <laughs> end, but yeah. I do got to get a tank of gas. Wawa well, <laughs> is a means to an end. That's yeah. it. That's it. This is the destination. Yeah, these experiences. Total destination. Amazing. This is Florida. This, by the way, is Florida. This is, this is Florida. This is where uh, it's at. It's not, it's not what you're seeing down on I Drive. This is Florida. Here we are back inside this water lettuce. This is a challenge. You don't want to lose your momentum in here. You want to keep up. You want to keep up the uh, the pressure. Don't want to slow down. But it's kind of hard. Made it. Whew. Got a bunch of water lettuce all over the boat. <laughs> Adam's almost here. Couple more patches here and there. Look at that little guy right there. Whoa, I just love the little frogs. All right, boys, that's about it, man. Did you guys enjoy yourself? This was awesome. I'm glad you came Amazing. out, buddy. Amazing, so happy, so happy I came out here. Awesome, what about you, Adam? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, good. Wonderful, wonderful time. Yeah, I had a great time showing you guys out there and, and you know, doing what I do best, guiding people out to the cool places. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank You're you, welcome, Jay. man. You're very, welcome, very, buddy. Very appreciative. Not a very problem. Very appreciative. Not a problem. Guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. And like always, take care. All right. Let's load up the truck and get out of here. All righty.